What's up guys, it's Bass and Burrs here today and uh, today we're down here at my spot at the river and we're gonna try to catch us some uh, smallies because I have been in the mood for some smallmouth and uh, right now they're in the pre-spawn so they are very, very aggressive and they're trying to eat as much as they can and we're gonna catch us some fish today. I just, I have a feeling that we're gonna catch one so we're gonna try. We're gonna see how everything goes and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna get on some fatties here today and yeah let's see what we can do and if you guys have any other uh video ideas or anything like that um leave a comment down below and if you guys have anything like you want us to do like i know some of you are saying like uh you want us to float down the river we can do that uh definitely because it's starting to get a little bit warmer here so yeah let's uh let's go catch us some fish gas oops there's some carp right there it's all school of them i'm like right in the middle of them oh Ooh, dang. Oh, guys, you saw that. I'm pretty sure a fell hooked in there. That would have been a pretty big carp, but it is what it is. Get that on video. It was first cast, too, so can't complain. I know there's, we'll probably get a few carp here, or at least one. That was a big carp. I'm glad he didn't break me off because I am running low on dead recodes. So that's good. Some people say it's bad luck to catch a fish on your first cast anyways and you probably won't catch one for the rest of the day. I do believe in that. <laughs> Second cast is fine. First one is not. So we changed it up to the molten crow here. Uh, we're keeping the same weight on it. I feel like this is probably gonna have a little bit of a difference. Yeah, another color I wanna try. If this doesn't get bit, I'd be greatly, greatly surprised. Because our craws are starting to mold around here. So like red and orange are pretty good colors to throw right now. So we're gonna see what happens. There we go. I don't know how good it is. That's a small bell. It's a pretty decent one. felt him run with that oh he's just barely hooked to you guys so there we go there's that little smolly right here as you guys can see that's a pretty nice little one i'd say about a pound let's get a release on him real quick all right here we go thank you little buddy thank you for not letting me get skunk today i really appreciate it Thank you. <laughs> Go out on your merry way. Awesome. So I just caught that small mouth on a molten craw, uh, 10th ounce uh, finesse shrooms jig head. And I was throwing the green pumpkin one for a little bit, uh, but I decided to change it up because I knew this color would probably do pretty good. And that goes to show that color is pretty important sometimes. It's like my forecast with this. And I felt him hit it. 
I felt him run with it. Is that another one? I thought it was another one there for a second. Yeah, he's pretty shallow. Again, I, at least I caught one, especially with how cold it is today. That was a pretty good one. Now, this is kind of where I casted it here originally. It's kind of along this bank right here. Ooh, do I got another? Ooh, I do. Oh, that's a little bit of a better one. If I can grab them. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that's a nice little smolly again. Me on hook him. Oh, he is just barely hooked. Yep, there he is, guys. Another. Another nice little small mouth. Uh, it's a little bit better. Uh, actually, I think the other one's a little bit bigger, but that color, I'm telling you, absolutely destroying it today. Let's keep going. All right, guys, I was trying to get a release on him and I uh, was trying to get a picture for the Instagram. If you haven't already, go follow that. That's linked down below in the description. And I, uh, I was trying to get him to the side that wasn't muddy and I, I dropped him in the water off camera, so. I'll get a picture of them uh, here once I edit this video. See if I can get another one. So where that one was at, was like right out there. At the same spot I caught that one. He was barely up too, that one was. So it's about right here. So we know this color's doing pretty well right now. So we're not gonna change up the colors. I love catching smallmouth. I, I swear they're like one of the most beautiful fish I catch. Like each one's different. Like whenever I lived up in uh, Vermont, uh, they were like extremely different like color patterns than the ones down here. I mean. Not too drastically, but you can tell like the difference between some of them. Okay, if this one doesn't get hit there, I'll be greatly surprised. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. I feel him fighting. Oh, this might be a, this might be a little bit of a bigger one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's fighting pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a little bit of a better one. There we go. Let me wash him off real quick and I'll show you, you guys. Uh, this one's probably... Oh, well, thanks for biting me, buddy. So here we go, guys. Here's this one. It's a nice little fella right here. Uh, third one for the day. Same color. I think I found out maybe a pattern here. These smallies. Yeah, let's get a release on them. I'm gonna try to get a picture without dropping them in the water this time. So yeah, hold on, give me one second. All right, guys, so we're gonna get him back in the water real quick. Now he's a nice little Small mouth. Let's get a good little release on him. Oh, thank you, buddy. Awesome. Let's keep fishing, guys. All right, guys, let's try to get us number four. So I think I kind of figured out a pattern with these. Eventually, I'm gonna catch all of them. 
But what we're doing is we're just letting this one float right down over here. Do I got another? So that's basically what we're doing is we're just letting it float. And they've been along this bank right here. They haven't been in their normal spot where I've been catching them. That's something playing with it. Oh, that's a good one. It's a little smally. Oh. oh, come here, little buddy. Okay, so this is probably the smallest one of the day so far. There we go. Look at that little small mouth right there, guys. Oh, that's, that's a small, small one. But number four, regardless, still pretty good. Uh, let's get a picture of them in a release and send them on our way. All right. See you later, little buddy. All right, let's see uh, if we can catch this number five. They've all been like right about here. If I catch a fifth, I'll be really surprised because it's been about 20 minutes. I feel like they're just all stacked right there. So what's happening. I want to catch like a, like a three, four pounder. If I can catch a four pounder, if I can break my PV, that'd be nice. Let's see if I can get us a, a bigger one. So we hooked into a carp. Got four small mouths so far. I want to catch a bigger one, but I can't really complain. At least I'm outside fishing. Oh, get bit again. Oh, there we go. Number five, guys. Take a look at that smallmouth jump. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a pretty one. <sighs> so there's number five. Let me get this hook out of his mouth. All right. Here is this other one. Uh, it's smaller than the other ones I've caught, but still, number five. Let's get a good release on him. All right, guys, let's get a good little release on this little guy right here so I can go back and get bigger. Bye, buddy. Look, he's going straight back to over here. Definitely, if you guys haven't already, try the Ned rig out. As you can see, it, it does pretty good. It's uh, definitely one of my favorite baits to throw around this time of year, especially in the winter. Um, Definitely stick with like some of the more natural colors, black and blue. Uh, Copper Truce is another good one. Hot Snakes. I'll link a video to the Ned Rig tutorial that I made. It was the first video I made on my channel. So kind of excuse that because it's probably going to be a little cringy. Um, I'll link that right here so you guys can see that. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, one of the main like food sources for smallmouth is crawfish they love some crawfish yeah that's why it's so good to throw like these molten colors around this time of year especially around the pre-spawn like they just see red like i know this isn't a, a red color but it is it's orange too and some of them around here do turn orange too so but also there is a shade it's also kind of a shade of red if you think about it and I like to kind of change it up like that. And it also matches some of the, the bait fish we got in here. Some of the panfish that we got that uh, some of the bass eat. Because there's also largemouth in here too, guys. If you guys haven't already, uh, please like and uh, comment, subscribe for the channel for more videos like this. Uh, definitely, we are planning on floating this once the weather warms up just a little bit. The John boat 
Uh, it's finally done. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link a card here too. And it's honestly, it's a, it came out pretty nicely. Like huge shout out to Mark on it. it without him, it wouldn't have been possible. All right guys, uh, as you guys can see, we, uh, we killed it today, I feel like even with uh, the weather being a little bit colder than uh, it has been over the past few days. So uh, yeah, pretty fun day. Caught them all in about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, hooked into a carp and it's okay. I didn't really want to deal with that because it makes my hands smell pretty bad for the rest of the day. But um, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun today. Definitely uh, got out here and uh, got some pretty spawn smallmouth. Uh, I think the biggest one we caught was uh, about a couple pounds, uh, maybe a little shorter of that. I didn't weigh in because I, I just wanted to keep fishing, honestly, because I felt like uh definitely could have got uh, something else. Sorry, I thought I heard uh, a topwater over there for a second. But yeah, if you guys have any uh, suggestions uh, that you want us to do for videos, uh, just comment down below. I thank you guys so much for watching today. If you haven't already, please go and... Uh, like comment and subscribe for more content on the channel and sorry i had a hiccup there and uh follow us on instagram it's linked down below and we'll see you here next time thank you so much for watching today and uh see you next time